Hey guys, today I'm working on a special commission for my aunt. She wants a three foot by three foot painting using black, white, silver, and green. This is very exciting. So let me set myself up here and I am going for this. Three foot by three foot takes up a lot of space in a small art room. And these are the colors that I'll be using. Everything is gonna be in the description. Um, there's no use really putting all the names of the greens because seriously there's about three brands minimum in each and I use about like 10 different greens to create this one. It's so pretty. Okay, so today's goal is to have four puddles but simple. Four simple puddles and obviously move it around. This is extremely exciting. It's so big. <laughs> it's the second time you guys ever that I've, d I've, I've done a three foot by three foot. I'm feeling that side first that side first but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back diagonally or there I'll go with the vibe The mess is not so bad. <sighs> um, okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and I might use my blow dryer. Oh, damn, and wash my feet. Holy, <laughs> I'm loving everything except the white, so I, um, I'm gonna like blow dry the white off, sort of, and try something here. Wow. The air created all those dots, ugh. Okay, give me a second here. I need to think this through. I, I think I'm going to mix up some more white and, and try something. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
back this is about two hours later now this was definitely level hard and it's so big that even if I tightened it the paint moves to the center but it's poured in a way where it's fine if it moves to the center why am I saying that because of the two corners of white what that does is it also allows the painting to look good on different sides. But that's going to be easier for me to show that to you guys once it's dried. Ugh, I can't. I'm too, like, I'm too small. Okay, so this is the coolest part here. You can see that the green, there's some green inside the metallic with the black there. And here, what I'm loving is like, it's like a little stream and then a lake. And then like, <laughs> I don't know. And the green is much less flashier in reality. Much less flashy, I mean. This was hard, you guys. Like, seriously, I know I spent a lot of time on it. I came back, but back and forth and added white. But, like, I had to get this down the way I found it pretty, you know? I am going to be painting on details, like fixing some parts with a paintbrush once it's dried. Anyways, that's so much fun. I can't wait. Stay tuned for the dried result.
back with the final result. I gave it a spray gloss varnish. And I'm in my kitchen for natural daylight. I spent hours with my paintbrush going over some parts and bringing it back to life in the areas that didn't dry so well. It was fun and seriously, I'm in love. This top part is so damn earthy. There's like a silver river and then like an explosion sort of rocks and like, okay. Oh, I think I just saw a bird right there. A beak. Okay, now I'm seeing all kinds of things. More than usual. <gasps> Can't wait to see what you guys are going to tell me in the comments about this painting. Alright, hope you guys like this. Eh, so big. Have a good one. Bye, guys.